Welcome back to the channel. Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. Got a killer corn binder to show you today. I think this is my first Transtar that I got the, uh, the privilege of uh, videoing. Uh, belongs to a, a guy, local guy, Eric. Met him at the uh, Class 8 on the Lake Geneva show. So uh, this beautiful fall day, finally uh, we were able to get together. So I think you're going to enjoy this. Stick around town. Painted sky in a sunset scene Through the window of a GMC White lines and lighted signs Got me hypnotized There's nothing like the feel of a road And the smell of a diesel smoke Another 10 or 20 miles I'll be born in the air This thing So let's get this show on the road, this shall we? Yes, it has. Hi, Dane. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. You know, I want you to know you're the first official corn binder to come to the Trucker's Lounge. Oh, my gosh. It is a big deal. I've, yeah. I've seen a lot of trucks here, but you're right. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these. Awesome, dude. Well, good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you, too. Man. Wow. Looky there. Yeah, it's... It's got a long way to go, but oh man, that's... it has come a ways yeah. since I bought it. Even since you saw it last. Look at that. Nice smooth stack and intake. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, thanks. Had to be done. Yeah. I couldn't take the fumes in, coming in the cab anymore. It was broke off right Oh my the, goodness, uh, yeah. Into the flex, so. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, thank you. And what do we got in this? Obviously, Cummins. It's what? 290 Cummins. Oh, it's a 290, sweet. Yeah. Tiny 290. Yeah, no, no uh, after cooler, so it's a baby. Sweet. Yeah. So works. where did this come from? Got a uh, nice new cab jack there. How's yeah. that working out? Uh, it's good now. Uh, the first time I went to jack it up, it popped the side. Uh -huh. out, so new jack and all new lines. It works good now. Um, but yeah, it was wasn't so good at first. Yeah, and the tank. That's nice. What'd, yeah. what'd you do there? Yeah, it was painted brown. Actually, everything was painted brown, and uh, Mike did some cleaning, and uh, there's just a little bit of brown left in the seams, Yeah. and polished it up, and then I got another, the one tank was junk, it had mm -hmm. been welded up, mm -hmm. so I got another tank out of the junkyard, and it's not perfect, but, you know, you know when you're shopping oh for my goodness. parts, yeah. I take what I can get at that point. Absolutely. Now, so where did this come from? I bought it in Buffalo, mm -hmm. New York, and the guy that I bought it from said it came from Rhode Island. And that's where it spent Now what did he use it for? Did he have it long or? It, he had intended to pull farm tractors to shows and it, it sat in his field, well his backyard, for seven or eight years. So it never went anywhere other than his yard. Here comes our uh, interrupter, the trains, always. Yeah. <laughs> But well, we like trains here. Yeah. So I, it, since it sat for so long at his place, the brakes and S cams had seized on uh -huh. the drive axle, and both front wheel seals were leaking. So my wife followed me. We drove it the whole way home. Wow. But um, my wife followed me, and she, oh, as soon as we left, she said, "Something's smoking. You better pull over." We'll hear one of the cams had seized. Yeah. And so I ended up having to uh, disconnect stuff and knock it back with a hammer. And so we came back from Buffalo on Route 20 with uh, one functioning brake. I'll tell you what, them tanks look good, you know? Yeah, thank you. They, you know, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It was, uh, that tank was laying in Margala's 
On the ground, they said for more than 20 years. No kidding. Next to another truck. I you, think where I got the exhaust stand was the same place. I finally made it to Margolis. All you, these years I've been doing this, I've always heard, you got to go there, you got to go there. And we went down there for, um, what did we get? Oh, we got a wheel to replace on uh, Joyride there, that front Volvo oh. wheel or Western Star, yeah, whichever it is. So what happened was, um, when it got towed here, I don't know, you know, I don't want to say anything negative, but they didn't check the front nuts on that front right wheel. And they were loose. I'm telling you what, if he'd gone much further, that thing would have been a disaster because the nuts were at the end. And it didn't do too bad of a job on the on elongating, but I mean it was it was enough that uh, you know Mr. Wizard there says, uh, uh you're getting another wheel. Yeah, you know, let's go to Margolas and uh, yeah, he had some. So yeah. I got to see the place then. I mean, it's incredible. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh in there. my gosh, I have not seen so many Mac cab overs in one yeah, place I, in my life. He's got a lot of neat stuff. He there. does whites and yeah. uh, just all kinds of neat things stuck away. I mean, oh the, gosh, they've yeah. been kind of picked over, you know, they but have. but there's there's still lots of parts to be had there. There are. I I get lucky every time I go. Now you might have said this already. What year again? It's, it's a '79. '79. Okay, yeah. with a shiny '290. Yeah, the shiny 290. It's not very shiny right now, but hopefully oh, man, it, looks awesome. it will be soon enough. I mean, what you got to do is you always got to compare. Go back to when you picked it up, where you are today, or the end yeah. of this season, the next season. Right. You'll, you'll set some goals, and, and that's the way you do it, you yeah. know. I've been happy so far. When I bought it, there was nothing on the roof. The visor was gone. There were no lights, horns, and I have... That's one of my trips to Margolis. Where'd you find your visor? Um... It was in the sleeper of another truck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's got awesome. lucky. Uh, I still have to wire. I just put the lights up there to plug the holes in because every time it rained, it was just coming through, oh my the, goodness, yeah. through the, the headliner. So, I do now have the LED replacements that screw into those. Yeah. So, that'll be a project. I love the way the rear of the bullet, you know, there's a gap there. Yeah, I just, there is. I like the way that looks. Yep. There's a rib in the roof right behind it. So most trucks would have a flat roof, and they so they have a long surface. But these, there's yeah. only about three or four inches. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's a really neat look. Now, did you put these uh, LEDs in here? Yeah, actually, that was right before I came here. I'd, I'd taken one out to find out what size it needed because it wasn't working, um, and it took forever to find the. Now right is that where they normally are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, to my knowledge, those are the factory. Well, they're not factory now, but that they were the factory ones replacements are impossible to find yeah so I the just, bumpers are hard to find it looks nice though it's not too bad yeah i was really happy to see that and the stainless grill to my knowledge is original yeah and yeah i don't it, it looks like it probably got hit on the right front corner at one point in its life because there's a little bit of putty or something that's around that oh yeah that light but they found good stuff to put back on it yeah i can't certified dirty idol i like yeah. that <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I have to drive one for work. That's a certified clean idle, so I thought I should probably okay. be the opposite in my. And what do you drive car. at work? Uh, I I drive for Gordon Food Service. It's a Volvo. Okay. A 400. It's a day cab. Hey. But it, it pays, it pays the, bills. the bills. That's right. It does. It Brings them beans home. The inside right. is exactly the way I bought it. Yeah. The guy I bought it from. Uh, there were no door panels. He put this carpet in. Oh, I should. Oh, that's all stuff that you'll find. You'll yeah, find all that. Yeah, I'll get it eventually. I will say, though, I had to air, put that air eye passenger seat in for my wife. because uh, Absolutely. Mama's we got to be to, comfortable. She's not happy. Oh, man, yeah. So that, that I have done. And I have the matching one to go on the driver's side, so eventually it'll get in. Sleeper's nice. Your panels are good. Yeah, it's good. It's the roof panel's really good. Yeah, I was really happy to see. You got a great start. It was a complete... Mostly running good driver. I've got to figure out a lot of little things, but you know, that comes oh my, with yeah. I'm thrilled with it. Yeah, I would be too. I mean, I used to drool over these 10 speed in it, okay? Yeah. Yep. No, I built uh, several of these models, the old Urtel models. And uh, matter of fact, a little, little backstory there when I, you know, obviously when I was a kid and I was into them, um, one time I was. I was sick or something, and uh, legitimately sick. Uh, <laughs> and I so a lot, but not, not my so dad, uh, my dad felt sorry for me. So when he comes home from work, 
he's got one of these Urtel Transtar 2 yep. model kits, and I'm like, oh, you rock that, thanks, you know, <laughs> so I started working on that well. Yeah. It didn't take long to figure out, let's see. I'm not feeling so good today. You know, maybe I'll get another truck model kit. Right. I think he caught on after about two or three kits, but uh, well, yeah, at least you got something out of him at first. That's right. That's right. Oh, uh, I, I started doing models when I was old enough to pull two pieces together. Okay. And it just started from there. It just got bigger and bigger. How's your gauges? Your fuel gauge work or? No, well, it doesn't. It's the sender's not in the tank right now. Okay. Uh, when I swap the tanks around, it's. The wires were there it should work again but. i was hoping you'd say that because i've only had one truck that the fuel gauge ever works mate wait a minute you know what actually i made it work and that's the cracker box that's because yeah. that's because we did the gauges yeah. yeah i've never had a truck then where the darn fuel gauge works i don't know what it is with that they go pretty quick what about your other gauges how are they everything else works yeah, yeah. speedo gauge. uh yeah speedo it's not accurate but it does yeah it's showing 526 yeah Might be. It would. This originally came with the shortest uh, bias ply tube type tires, and then when I bought it, it had tall twenty four fives on it. Yeah. So it, they've oh, yeah. been on for a while. He said the mileage wasn't even close because it had the tall tires on it oh, okay. most of its life. So what do you got on it now? He figures around seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So it was apparently that's the haul furniture around the northeast. That's still not uh, bad at all. No. No. Not. Not at all with the thing yeah it doesn't seem to use any fluids doesn't really leak anything that's other than some power steering but well hey that's normal I mean these all these trucks yeah got drops and drips here and there but uh, yeah it's it's not too bad considering where I got it from all right I'll just uh, do the slouch Sounds good. I heard you coming. I was like, oh, oh darn it, I wanted the <laughs> camera on. Bang a right and then go back. I, uh, I wasn't sure what it was going to sound like with the pipe on it finally. It's not as loud as I thought it would be, and it's definitely better than when the pipe was broke out oh, in the back yeah. of the cab. It's, it's reasonable for sure. Yeah. No, I think it's perfect. But like you say, you don't want it obnoxious, really, because no, that no. gets old. It does. You're clear here. To the left, you said, right? Yes, sir. And up over the tracks. A little bumpy, the front cab mount bushings are uh, beaten up. Yeah. So uh, I was driving down West Avenue in Ashton Fuel and hit a bump and my radio fell out. <laughs> it swung and hit the brand new windshield. Yeah. That is not available anymore. I cringe, but didn't hurt it. Yeah, I've been there. So I. Yeah, good timing. Yeah. I do have new cab mount bushings finally. I just need to get them in. And we'll hang a left over here. It seems like this used to be the detour when they were doing the bridge over the tracks on Parish Road. You guys are out chasing trucks and trailers like I am and you're up here in the north you are experiencing the frigid temperatures this time of year this is a jacket that is actually heated see this little uh, red dial right here is put on the warmest temperature you can put it kind of medium and low but uh, I don't know why someone didn't invent this sooner but I love this jacket Venustis and if you guys are interested in something like this look down in the comments uh, I'll put the links there and they've even offered to give a discount coupon if you uh, if you're one of my subscribers and you uh, come to them through the channel so go ahead and uh, check it out see if it's something you're interested in I highly endorse it because it's nice and warm when I'm out in the cold chasing trucks and trailers
4070B, which this is uh, this is what Eric says. So we were saying, uh, first of all, <clears throat> it's a higher higher cab uh, sitting on there for the KTA they were considering. Yeah, KTA it was built to have one underneath, which I don't know if they ever built them. I've never seen one. Right. They, they could be out there, but it's a t so a taller cab. It sits higher. Um, the suspension is just taller. And some of the other differences. Said the, uh, the piano hinge on this compared to two hinges. Uh, they both have steel doors still. Right. The curse of the steel doors, like yes. my Astro. Yes, unfortunately. But that's a that's a meaty piano hinge. It's a little bit it bigger. It certainly is. Yeah. But yeah, so that was unique to the B, and it's definitely a lot taller. You can't just reach in and hit the start <laughs> button. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there were some other different bumper, obviously. So, uh, so differences. Yeah. Probably didn't have this, this uh, man, this looks nice, this chrome grill or whatever still. Yeah, I'm surprised that it still looks as good as it does. Yeah. But as far as I know, that's an original. I don't, I don't have any reason to believe it isn't. Probably uh, a bigger radiator. Yeah, bigger radiator. The wipers are in the roof the, on the B. They were under just below the windshield on, okay, on the, the A. a. So mm -hmm. that was another subtle difference. Um. They had different lights on the cab. I was going to say, uh, they probably had round lights. Did they have them in a different location or same location? I think it was the same location okay. still. And those are the same lights that carried over to the 9670 also, along with oh, yeah, the yeah. early 9670s had the same lights on the cab too. Fortunately, that's I found mine. Yeah. Because they're no good on the old stuff. I always anymore. liked this. Uh, I always like this. This this is very nice. The way they just yep. it's sideways and comes very nice. I always like that about it. Yeah, I was I think it's a, a nice touch too. It makes a little challenge for my wife stepping around it to get into the yeah. passenger door. But I yeah. I think it's a nice touch and it's a good place for it. I routed my exhaust a little different from the Now this is a newer, isn't it? It doesn't belong. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Now, that that international logo didn't come out until Later versions of the 9670. 9670, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't thought. like it on there. As, as much as I'm a, I like orange, it doesn't belong. It looks good. I mean, it's it's just, it's not original, obviously, no. but it doesn't look bad at all. No. I just was like, hmm, that looks like the new I've newer. had a couple other people question that. But you're right, it, it doesn't belong. Nothing on wrong with it. No. No. Hopefully someday there will be a set of Jake Brakes. In there. Yeah, well, you got plenty of room, that's for darn there sure. So, I say thanks to Eric for bringing this awesome corn biter down to show us today. So, hey, until next time, keep the hammer down, safe and sound. All right, thank you.